What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a new investor and basically I'm just sharing what I learned in this crazy world of investments. I'm just sharing my journey. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then consider subscribing, hitting the like button. So in this video, I wanted to go over a couple things that I've learned and that I'm still learning as I invest and as I go through this journey of investing and finding out what I want to invest in. The stock market is not a simple monster. It is a very hard thing to understand. It is a very hard thing to get into. To not get in, I don't want to say get into, but just kind of understand. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of components to the market. There's a lot of, I don't know, there's so much data out there. There's so many things. I've learned a couple basic things that I want to share with you guys. Maybe if you're a new investor or if you're thinking about investing, and hopefully this can help you. So the first thing I want to share is the amount that you get started with doesn't matter. What matters is that you get started. In the beginning, I didn't even know that I could get started with $1. I used to see the ads on Facebook and the ads on IG and people on, on YouTube talking about how get started with one dollar. I was like, oh, you can't get started investing with one dollar. That's not possible, blah, blah, blah. If you do your research, you will find that there are a lot of apps that let you get started with one dollar. Like the public app, the one that I'm always promoting here. And no, I'm not sponsored by them, but I wish I was. <laughs> Link below, you can get a free $7 slice, I believe it is. You can start investing with $7 for free. Like you're getting money for free. You can grow your portfolio as you go. So again, what matters is you can get started at one dollar five dollars whatever you have available to you you will you will be able to invest it. What this will create for you is a mindset, right? It's gonna make it possible. It's gonna be on your mind before you spend money. So before I got started investing, if I went to the store, I will pick up pointless things. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Like for example, that extra candy, those extra M&Ms, $1.34. Every time you go to the store, if you go to say three times to the store, that's close to five bucks a week that you're spending on candy, a soda, whatever it is. It could be an extra light bulb that you didn't even need or extra shampoo or I don't know, whatever. <laughs> You pick up at the store that you don't need you know what it is better than i do what investing has done for me basically is be a little bit more mindful of the money that i'm spending when i go out if i go out for dinner which i haven't been going out too much because of the pandemic now though everything is opening up back slowly and then we go back to the restaurants i'm gonna be more mindful of things before instead of having three drinks i'm only gonna have two drinks and that's not being cheap that's just being mindful of what my priorities are my priorities right now are you know adding more money to my portfolio and I'm pretty sure I can go without that extra drink that extra eight dollars that I spent or ten dollars or twelve dollars whatever the drinks are I can add that to my portfolio and the cool thing is I can do it right then and there because we have our phones so go ahead and practice it next time you're out in the store or you're at the restaurant or wherever you are and you're about to spend that extra money save yourself that money add it to your portfolio and see how good you feel I did this and it felt great because I was gonna spend five bucks on something that I didn't really need instead I added it right there and there to my portfolio and I was like oof that feels so good and this is what getting started with investing does for you because it's going to switch your mind and it's gonna make you realize wow I was spending a lot of money on mindless things that I don't really need right now maybe eventually obviously if it's something that you really need you'll get it but if you don't need it at the moment I will, my personal opinion will be either save it or invest it something else that I've learned is invest only what you're comfortable with if you go on YouTube you're gonna see a lot of these big youtubers I, I see them myself too like Andre Jake he's one of the like the best youtubers that I follow for investment and dividend advice and his portfolio is like over 200k you shouldn't get discouraged because you're just getting started and you only have 10 or 100 or 50 or whatever your, your budget is right now to get started I don't want you to get discouraged and feel like you're never gonna get to this guy's uh, portfolio it was like 200k a million k like some of these youtubers have over 10 million it could make you feel discouraged but you shouldn't everybody starts off different everybody has a different path you should only be investing what you're comfortable with sometimes emergencies in life happens to all of us and if you don't have any money saved up if you don't have anything in your you know your little savings account for when those emergencies come up and you have to take the money out of your portfolio that's not really gonna help you out that's actually going to hurt you your portfolio it's gonna hurt your long-term goals so instead of going crazy and feel like oh I'm just gonna take everything out of my savings and you're throw it in the stock market especially if you're a new investor that's not a good idea at all just invest what you're comfortable with don't get discouraged this should be a motivation oh man my portfolio like my personal goal right now is a thousand dollars in my portfolio little by little my investment strategy has been 100 to 150 a month usually like around 140 like I always say that's what I feel comfortable with spending and if something goes wrong like the stock market right now is crazy it's not really gonna hurt my budget it's not really gonna hurt my pocket that much if I lose all my money again 
you don't lose your money unless you sell your stocks. That's my mentality and I'm sticking to it. Also something else that has really helped that I've learned that it is possible to do is budgeting. Those extra subscriptions that we have, those gym memberships, those extra drinks when we go out, all these things should be budgeted. I'm using the Mint app and it's free to use. You can look it up in the app store. You can put all your bank's account, your credit cards, you can put everything linked to it and you will be able to see exactly where you're spending your money. You can set your budget. I've been using the app and it's been working great. I can see exactly how much money I'm spending through all my accounts. I know sometimes if you only use a debit card and you have your credit card on another account, it can be confusing. Okay, how much did I really spend last month uh, on gas or going out or in subscriptions or what, whatever you spend your money in. So this app makes it super simple for you to have a track and it shows you kind of like in a graph where you're spending your money. You can set your limit, you can set your budget, you get notifications. So I will highly recommend that app. I'm not sponsored, but if you want to hit me up, I'm here. But you didn't sound like this crazy thing that you have to do like this hard work this grunt work that nobody wants to do once you actually sit down you write it down exactly what your income is what your expenses are and you can see where your money is going to go to you can see why what are these things that you don't really need that you're spending your money in and you can start adding that to your portfolio to you, your investments and trust me it will be great if you start doing that so just to wrap it all up get started investing if that's if it's been on your mind that you want to get invested into stock this has been on your mind that you, you know this is something you want to do i would suggest get started investing start you can start with a dollar like one dollar a week the one dollar a month whatever you feel comfortable with the amount doesn't matter again what matters is that you get started pick an app i'll leave the link below for the public app which you get seven dollars for free of a slice of a stock and you also get a free stock with the robin hood app so get one of those get your free stocks and see how you like the market see if you feel comfortable with if this is something that you're you know long term that you're going to be into and if you're not then good for you if you're if you are then awesome just give it a try see how you feel all right guys thank you so much for watching the video appreciate you as always if you did consider subscribing hitting the like button and drop a comment below thank you again have a good one